What's going on guys? This is the first of my video log series documenting my weight training. Going at it with bench right now to start off. Um, starting with bench mainly because that's the uh, most important lift to me right now that I want to get up. Um, always struggled with bench. Bench is not, uh, it's kind of a weak point for me. It's not my best. So I like to start with that first before I'm actually, you know, too tired. Uh, we're doing 155 here for 10 reps. It's a hypertrophy day, but trying to keep a powerlifting form to push more weight for overall more hypertrophy. Uh, that is the goal for when you see a lot of my lifts. The, the style of form that I use, very powerlifting based so that I can push more weight. Going right here into curls right after. I'm trying to cut down the time of my workouts. So normally they're taking like hour and a half. So I like to take my time. So I'm trying to cut them down a little bit. Throw in some curls uh, right after bench. Find alternating muscle groups that uh, don't conflict so that I can kind of do supersets in between. So these are sets of 8 to 12. Really focusing on like one second contractions and then one, one second uh, lowering the weight as well. And that's for most of my lifts on hypertrophy day which is today when you'll, you'll see me doing 8 to 12 or even up to 15 reps as opposed to my strength days where I'm doing you know 3 to 5 reps. So I did three sets of barbell bench and then got into dumbbell bench to start off. And you know I'm kind of building back up in the weight that I've done before. So 55s right now to start. Pretty easy for me. I've I've done you know 80s before, so this is kind of this is pretty light. Um really trying to focus on form though, really trying to you know build back up to where I was in terms of strength. So you know, really focusing on the form, trying to make sure I'm not getting injured this time around. Um, you know, I'm kind of bulking right now, so trying to gain some weight, gain some strength. And, uh, you know, I've learned over time that it's better to take the slow route to, you know, perfect your form and then to push yourself with more weight and then get hurt and then have a big setback. So, really taking care of the weight with what I'm doing, uh, really making sure the form is tight rather than just advancing in weight. So again, going right into curls. Set of 8 to 12. So I think this workout took about an hour and 20 minutes. Still pretty long. I'd prefer to have it, you know, 60, 70 minutes, but it is what it is right now. I'm um, doing three days a week, trying to, you know, really focus on these compound lifts squat, bench, deadlift, presses, um, not much else, honestly, for accessory work, you know, besides the curls, um, since biceps don't really get developed when you're doing these compound movements, uh, you know, squat, bench, deadlift, not really working your arms too much, so I try to throw that in. The key with these is keep your elbows from moving. You'll, you'll see that I'm not really moving my elbows too much. Try to keep them right by your side. That way you're not putting your shoulder into the movement. So here I think we're going with 60s. A little bit more difficult, especially after three sets of, of barbell bench. But again, still it goes up pretty easily for me. Pretty easy reps. Got a little bit difficult at the end, but nothing crazy. Just 60 pounds, so kind of grind that, that last rep out. 
Throw the dumbbells down. Call it a day for, for chest. Now we're getting into shoulder press. Did uh, three sets of, I believe, nine reps. Working with, I think, 105 or 110. Uh, my best has been 115 for 10 or 11 reps. So I'm trying to build back up to that. It's pretty tough, uh, especially when you've hammered your, your triceps after doing you know, a lot of pressing movements, you know, three, three sets of bench, two sets of dumbbell bench, and then going right into shoulder press. It can be you know, pretty taxing on your arms. You can see I drove that last one with my feet. But that's fine. Um, so yeah, I did three sets of that, and then we're getting into squats. So we're looking at 235 for a set of 10, I believe. Now, one of the things you'll see I have a belt on, and a lot of people will say, oh, you know, a belt, uh, it's not good, it takes away from core development, you gotta have your core you know, tight, and, and the belt kind of takes that away, extra support. It's actually not true. Um, you actually have more uh, you know, abdominal activation when you wear a belt because it forces you to breathe into it and contract your abs. So I definitely recommend getting a belt if you're gonna be squatting heavy. And just for me, I have lower back issues. I have you know, structural defects uh, in my back from x-rays. So, so I know where there's troubled spots. So I like to make sure I have a tight belt on to make sure my abs are, are you know, overworking if possible so that I keep my lower back pretty safe. And I use knee, uh, knee wraps just so that I can push more weight. Honestly, I don't find too much of a difference with them. But when I did track and field, I had knee tendonitis for a long time. So that really inhibited my squat. So now I try to make sure I use knee sleeves just to uh, you know, keep my knees protected and uh, keep everything pretty solid. So yeah, I like to keep shaking out in between the workouts. Um, one thing I've noticed in my squat form, uh, if I go pretty deep, um, you know, my form will come apart a little bit. Uh, my, my tailbone will kind of curl under. So on this set, I kind of corrected it a little bit. Didn't go as low, but made sure I still went parallel, as you'll see here. Yeah, it's still something I need to work on. It, even watching the videos, it looks like my, my form could use some work, but it's pretty solid. I mean, compared to most people that you'll see in the gym, and just in terms of like leg development, my squat form does the job. Um, you know, I've been squatting for probably five years, so you learn, you get used to the movement, but there's always tweaks to be made, always modifications, so that's, you know, not too big of a deal. I, I think my form's pretty solid, though. So we bang out another set of 10 here. Pretty easy, no complaints. Thirty-five, pretty easy weight for me. Done uh, 250, 255 for 10 PR. So this is a little bit under, but working back up to it, as you'll see throughout the videos. So did two sets of that. That was it for squats, and then we did two sets of deadlifts for a set of 10 with 305. So I used straps and had this discussion the other day with a friend, uh, you know, how important straps are because I'm not here to train my grip, I'm here to develop my, my back, my legs. So by using straps, that can help me to pull more weight. And also I, I don't like doing switch grip where, where one hand is facing the other direction. Um, it gives you better grip without straps but uh, you risk a bicep tear with the hand that's facing away from your body. So I prefer to use straps, double overhand grip. And uh, I'm doing touch and go here. Uh, one of the guys at the gym is giving me some shit at the desk for dropping the weight even though I'm on a platform. So, you know, I'm just doing touch and go from now on. Uh, unless it's really heavy and I want to focus on off the ground, then, uh, you know, I'm, on the hypertrophy days I'll touch and go. On other days, um, you know, I won't, I won't be overly concerned with it, and I'll, I'll pull off the floor. 
But yeah, that wraps up this uh, first training session, Hypertrophy Day. Thanks for watching, guys.